they say they can't. I know, cause I'm way on top of my flow, and she has nothing that's inside. So I'm hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob back at it again with another video. And if you are a competent reader, you can tell by the title that we will be talking about Kyler Murray and why he should choose to play football. Now, there are some rumors that Kyler Murray may declare for the NFL draft, which is why people are bringing up his decision once again. And a lot of people are saying that it is a no-brainer that he should choose baseball. But I am here to tell you guys today that that decision is not as obvious as you think. And I broke it down. So, instead of me just talking and rambling, we're going to get right into the nitty gritty. So... First off, people use money as a clear-cut reason as to why he should choose baseball. And yes, baseball players generally make more money than football players because the average MLB salary is at $4 million, while the average NFL salary is at $2 million. But here's the thing though, Todd McShay reported that Kyler Murray would probably be a first round pick if he committed and promised he was going to play football. Now, Todd McShay, he's an analyst, he's not a coach, but there was another coach that said that he would take Kyler Murray in the first round. Granted, this coach was not an NFL coach when he said it, and that coach is Cliff Kingsbury. He said in October that he would take Kyler Murray in the first round if he had the chance. Now he's an NFL coach, so <laughs> I don't know. So moving on, when you're looking at first round draft picks, the money is there. And the thing with Kyler Murray is, He's not just an NFL player. He's an NFL quarterback. And NFL quarterbacks make NFL quarterback money. Okay? Much like how MLB pitchers make MLB pitchers money. Alright? But Kyler Murray is not a pitcher. But he is a quarterback. So that money argument starts to balance itself out. So let's get, let's get into the facts. Alright? All but one rookie QB drafted in the first round of this year's draft made less than $4 million. Sam Donald totaled 7 million this year in salary and Lamar Jackson made 2 million in salary but Lamar Jackson his contract is I believe 8 million guaranteed spanning his um uh, tenure with the Ravens right now and looking at another fact 16 quarterbacks make more than 20 million dollars in the NFL and that's salary okay just want to remind you of that but only four center fielders make more than 20 million in the MLB now, if you don't know, Kyler Murray does play center field, so that's why I have that. And only seven outfielders in total make more than $20 million in salary. So, right there, quarterbacks got the quarterbacks have the lead right now, okay? Only eight center fielders make more than $10 million for the MLB and 20 outfielders in total. But 23 quarterbacks in the NFL make more than $10 million in salary. So once again, quarterback outfielder, uh, quarterbacks making more money, all right? And if you look at it, here's a fun fact for you. Tyrod Taylor makes more money in salary than Kristen Yelich, Lorenzo Cain, George Springer, Josh Reddick, and Mookie Betts. Yes, reigning MVP Mookie Betts. And... This is all hypothetical because if Kyler Murray goes first round, he could get that money. But if he were to go second round, uh, things are not looking that bright. Because Mason Rudolph was the first quarterback drafted in the second round. He only makes 900 k And going first round and second round is a big well is a big event because I believe if Charlie Ward was to go first round, he would have probably played football. Okay, because the first round money is always there. But Charlie Ward didn't go first round. So that made a difference, all right? And another thing with the money thing is that for baseball, if you really want to make the big bucks, you got to go through arbitration. And a lot of people are predicting that it's going to take five years for Kyler Murray to get through arbitration. And if you do not understand what arbitration is, let my main man, Joe Klatt, explain to you what it is. Let me explain quickly how you get paid in baseball. You get a big signing bonus as you enter into your contract and become a minor leaguer. And then after that, you make little to nothing for a long time. Even if he were to make it to the big leagues very quickly, let's say within a year and a half, he's still in his pre-arbitration years. In your pre-arbitration years, you're going to make somewhere in the neighborhood of $700,000 or less. League minimum is just above $500,000. You have no say in that. 
your ball club dictates how much you pay you get paid and it's going to be very near the minimum just to give you some statistics to back that up about 40 to 41 percent of major league baseball players 399 of about 963 in 2017 were paid below seven hundred thousand dollars that blows people's minds i thought man i thought the money was huge in major, major league baseball only if you get to a second contract, if you can get out of those years in which you're owned by the club that originally signed you. When you're in your pre-arbitration years, you make little to no money. Thanks, Joel Klatt. I can always count on you. And yeah, that's just the financial part of this. Now we're gonna move on to some opportunistic, some opportunistic events that could shape his careers in football or baseball. So Kyler Murray is not guaranteed to make the bigs, but a lot of people make it seem like it's a clear cut decision to play baseball, but you got to understand there's a lot of obstacles. You got the minor leagues and stuff. Do you, do you understand that? If he goes to the NFL, he's already on a roster. He's already on a roster. Okay. So also there's a lot of teams. There's not a lot of teams, but there's some teams that do need an NFL quarterback this year in this coming draft. Now, looking at the minor league stuff, one site has Kyler Murray as the 23rd best prospect in the A's organization and his MLB estimated time of arrival at 2024. But there's another website that has him as the 5th best prospect with an ETA of 2021. So, I mean, some sites have him on the brighter side of things. Some sites are saying this guy is not that great. And we got to look at his competition too because... In AAA, outfielders Austin Beck, Jamison Hanna, and Lazaro Armenteros had good seasons in single-A ball, and their ETA is slated before Kyler Murray, and you can see their stats on the screen, they did pretty good. And for the AA, prospects were even better, because outfielders Sky Bolt, Tyler Ramirez, Luis Barrera had great seasons in AA and are also estimated to make the bigs of head of Murray. And for AAA, the newly acquired Las Vegas Aviators, they used to be the 51s, now they're the Aviators. They only have one outfielder, but that outfielder is Mark Payton, who had a decent year at AAA as well, and I believe he might see some MLB time this year. So looking at it right now, Kyler Murray has a lot of competition in that organization. And I mentioned Lazaro Amenteros, he was regarded as a phenom. Okay, he's regarded as a Cuban phenom. All right, so Kyler Murray's gonna have to work his way up. Granted, these are not all center fielders, these are just outfielders, but Kyler Murray's probably gonna play all outfield positions. Okay, so that's his competition slated for the minor leagues. But if you wanted to go to the NFL, the teams that are in need of a QB are the Bucks, the Giants, the Broncos, the Jaguars, and the Redskins. And the QBs that are likely to go first round are Dwayne Haskins, Daniel Jones, and Drew Locke. All the other quarterbacks, it's up in the air. So Kyler Murray does have a good chance of going first round. All right. And the last part I want to speak on is that people bring up the NFL's dangerous nature and how he's more prone to be injured. And yes, that is the case. When you play in the NFL, you're more prone to get injured and those injuries could be a lot more costly. But if you are playing football and that's the risk you're willing to take and you can make a lot more money, then I don't see why you don't take that risk. And yes, the average MLB career spans 5.6 years, while the NFL's average career span is only 3.3 years. But looking at this graph on the screen, you can see that a player who makes the opening roster averages six years in the league. Furthermore, first round draft picks spend 9.3 years in the league on average. So that basically tells me if Kyler Murray gets in the first round, he's gonna be making first round QB money and he's gonna spend nine years in the league, possibly nine years in the league. That is good odds right there. Okay, that's better odds than him playing baseball in my eyes. All right, but yes, you have to look at the factor of, uh, you know, him getting injured and looking out for his health. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't always see like the same support for football players like 
because there's football players who do things outside of football that they could easily excel in and like being doctors being teachers and nobody's telling them oh stop playing football stop playing football you're gonna get cte like you don't say that for those players but you're saying it for Kyler murray now okay but i believe if if this is the risk you're willing to take to play football to make the big bucks, then football is the right decision because you will be making more money in football and your career could probably last longer in football, okay? Because looking at his baseball um, performance, I see him possibly being an all-star at best. Being an all-star at best. And his best salary would probably be around 15 mil. I believe his QB potential is greater. People talk about his size and how he's like 5'9". He could be the anomaly, okay? People act like there aren't anomalies. He could be that anomaly. I, watching him in college, he was dominating. And people say he's too small, his weight is too low. He could put on some bulk, all right? And, I mean, it wasn't like he was playing in the fucking MAC. He was playing in the Big 12. So, those guys are pretty big. So the way I see it, I feel as though if you want to make money, then the, the decision to go straight to baseball is, is not the money option. The money option is to go to the NFL if you are slated to get picked in the first round. Okay, because that's a big if. That's a big if. All right, because let's say he does, because here's the thing with football. If he goes to football, doesn't pan out in a few years, he could always go to baseball. Look at Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow is in AAA right now for the Syracuse Mets. Tim Tebow could very well play an MLB game this season. Tim Tebow could play an MLB game this season. So if this doesn't work out for Kyler Murray, he always can go back to baseball. Okay, but if he goes to baseball first, then going back to football, I don't see that in the cards. All right, that just might not work out. I feel like the more probable event to happen would you going from would be you going from football to baseball. That's how I see it. Now, like I say, like I always say, if you have a different opinion, sound off in the comments. I provided the facts. All right. So if you want to get into an argument on this, come at me with the facts cuz I got the facts. Okay? And as always, this has been another J-Rod video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, and peace.